welcome to Leap Into Your Story podcast, where you discover your inner story, break down the process, and meet others who've done it so you can leap into your own story. We interview amazing guests who provide powerful insights that inspire you to get your story told. Be sure to visit our website at leapintoyourstory.com, and while you're there, subscribe and like us via your favorite social media network. Now sit back, get ready to take some notes, and let's get started. This episode of Leap Into Your Story podcast is brought to you by Leap Into Your Story course. Visit leapintoyourstory.com where you have a guide to get your story told. So I went to art school and realized I did not want to be a photographer. But uh, the positive side was that I learned a lot about creativity. So how to tell a story through art, how to think creatively, and especially how to critique. Because the teachers were always big on, you can't just say that you like or don't like something. You have to explain what you think is working or not and why. So that was actually a really good background in writing. And then eventually when I started doing critiques for other people and teaching writing, being able to explain why something was working or not, maybe offer suggestions to how to make it better. Um, And also to understand when a critique would be encouraging and leave the person wanting to go back and work more versus when a critique could be sort of soul crushing and make you want to never make art again. But when I was looking for work in New York with magazines as an assistant editor, I started writing a novel as something fun to do in between writing resumes and having interviews and all that stuff. So, um, and that actually turned out to be The Well of Sacrifice, which was my first published novel. And I set it in Mayan Guatemala because I'd spent a summer traveling through Mexico, Guatemala and Belize with a friend and just really fell in love with that culture. And I had loved stories like Julie of the Wolves and Island of the Blue Dolphins when I was in middle school. So I wanted to create that kind of adventure story that took the reader to this other place. Well, when I first started writing, one of the things that I used to obsess about, because I'm an English teacher and I would teach like, you know, how to write a research paper. And um, one of the things I obsessed about is outline, right? Oh, you have to have an outline. You have to know where you're, you're, where you're starting, where you're going and all the steps in between. And, um, and so this worried me for a long time. And it's, it started to be a barrier to actually writing. And so what I've found over the years, um, and I've, I've now just released my third novel, is that you just have to let a story evolve, right? Don't worry about that outline. Um, so let it, let it come together, let that inspiration be in the moment. It helps you be most present with your story and your characters. Um, and so it, it, it's more playful as well. Writers group inspired this story is my writers group also contains a poet. And I started thinking about how it is that we can uh, use poetry in fiction um, and, okay. and gain a whole other dimension on a character. Nice. Thank you for tuning into the Leap Into Your Story podcast, where you discover your inner story, break down the process, and meet others who've done it so you can leap into your own story. Remember to visit our website at leapintoyourstory.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're there, subscribe and like to us via your favorite social media network. We're looking forward to seeing you next time on the Leap Into Your Story podcast.